Hello everybody and welcome to Red's Outdoors once again. It has been a while since I put a video up, but today it's kind of our annual vacation. We are back at Port Arantis. I apologize for the wind noise and the wave noise, but you're on the beach. You're not going to get a quiet time to do this. Um, got two lines in the water right now. Um, got a lot better setup than we did last time. Let me see if I can show you. Got a canopy. Got some chairs set out. Got two lines out in the water and I got one pole that's starting to bend a little bit. And I think it's just the waves. I'll show you what we got. Take a look. Now I got one rod out there that's starting to bend pretty good. I'm going to wait for it to take off a little bit more. I don't know how good this camera is picking it up. Yeah, she's been in pretty good. I think I'm fixing to have to go check that out. Maybe. We'll see. But, got the truck set up. Got a canopy this time. A couple of chairs. For our bait, we caught some whiting while ago on some fish bites. I don't know if you guys have ever used fish bites. Catching the small fish down here. Those are amazing. Using some cut bait with some of the whiting that we caught. I'd rather have mullet, have the cast net. Didn't catch anything. And I got a little aerator in my bucket. I got one other whiting in there. Just, oh, the lighting here is terrible. Let me step out from under that. Is that any better? Ah, that's a little bit better. And we're going to see if we can get anything caught. I don't see if I can zoom in on Elena. She is not as far out there as she was while ago, but she's out there trying to catch some more whiting. Let me show you. So that is Elena way out there. She was out there a little bit further. I think the waves are just kind of jumping up on her. It is a little cold. I mean, we are the end of October, so it's not quite as warm as it is for you guys that like to visit the beach in the summertime. It's still nice. I mean, it's like 75 degrees lighting, 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 lighting's horrible. There we go. The sun is kind of in front of me, so you get a lot of shade. Now, what the hell, we'll just go with it. And I guess it was just the waves on my pole. I had one on that was bending really good. Now it's not. But we'll see if we can get anything here. If not, then we'll try somewhere else. Or today is our anniversary, so we're not going to spend all day out here fishing. We're going to see what else Port Aransas has to offer. Or maybe go into Corpus Christi and find something there. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Sit back, watch it, have fun. So, while out there fishing, Elena got hit by a jellyfish on her foot, and we did not bring any vinegar mixture or anything to put on it, so the lifeguard is on its way to hopefully help her take care of that. Fun times. So if you come to the beach, watch out for jellyfish. Mm. It's not that bad, but you can see a little bit of redness and kind of a bubble. There's a bubble right there. Right there. That's so. what hurts, and it hurts all the way up here. So hopefully they have something that we can put on it for and get that taken care of. Supposedly they're on their way. We'll see. EMS is leaving now. We learned a new trick. Unseasoned meat tenderizer and rubbing alcohol. Cake, take, ah, cake that on it and that's supposed to help get it taken away. And while I'm sitting there talking to the EMS guy, he points out there, he's talking to me about some of the things that they've used to fish on out here. And he's telling me where he's caught shark at. As he's telling me that, we see this rather large dorsal fin pop up out of the water about probably 75 yards offshore from where we're at came up twice um, I was walking out there so I may think about walking out there again at least for a while because that was a pretty goddamn big fin sticking up and I don't really think I want to go say hi to that creature so 
I'm going to not walk that far out there when I cast next time. Um, but luckily, Lena's going to be okay. They just cake some of that on there. The sting's starting to ease up. So thank you to Porter Ranzis EMS. And I'm sure we're still going to be back here. She may not go back in the water today, but we're still going to continue to fish here. I may have to go out there and cast for her, though. Hey guys, well you saw how fishing was going, so we kind of abandoned that. A little attack of a jellyfish. Right now we're actually in Corpus Christi at the Texas State Aquarium. I don't know if they'll let me film in there, we're gonna see. Right now I'm kinda getting stalked. Gonna know how to make some friends real quick. Watch this. Birds and acrobats. Apparently seagulls like corn chips, Frito-Lays, they love them. All right, so we are here at the Texas State Aquarium in Corpus Christi, and right beside it is a very, very big-ass boat. Look at this thing. That is the USS Lexington. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. No, it's not the best view in the world, Next year, we're bringing our son with us, so he'll be out there as well. I just thought that thing is really cool. We're going to take him there next year. I don't know if they're going to let me film in here, but we'll find out in a minute. All right, guys, I did want to show you everything, just the things I thought were kind of cool. This guy, that's kind of cool. close to a shark before. At least not one that size. Let's go catch that one. Yeah. That would be fun reeling that thing in. I don't know if you guys saw what just shot by. There's a barracuda that just shot by the screen real quick. We'll see what else is here. Yesterday's events, probably not the first thing she wanted to see. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. touched a stingray. I thought he'd be kind of coarse a little bit like the shark. Absolutely slippery, more like a catfish or something. That's what he felt like was a catfish. I showed you the Lexington earlier. Here's a better shot of it. Now, a couple years ago, actually, I think it was three years ago, we actually went on this. I'll roll some pictures that we took then. Enjoy them.
Hi. What's up? All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, as I showed you all ago, the weather outside was turning not very pretty. Wind was kicking up, the northern coming in. It is ripping right now. I'll take you out on the balcony. Look at this. Man, the wind is really kicking in, coming out of the north. It's getting really cold in here now. Not something I'm used to seeing for you know this this part of the state every other time we've been down here it's been like 70 degrees and you know it's a low 80 something for the high this is the first time i've ever seen this this time of year but it's been a great trip it's been fun you guys had never been to port aransas try it out the hotel we're staying in well, it's not a luxury hotel i mean for what we're paying it's actually really nice i mean you got a full kitchen um, it's actually got a separate bedroom. It's got a, uh, there's nothing's made up yet, but it's got a separate bedroom, walk-in closet, nice size bathroom. So if you're looking for kind of a budget place to stay, I mean, we got a balcony, um, for what we got in this room. Compared to everything else, they definitely have the best prices. Um, we're at the Island Hotel in Port Aransas. But if you're looking for a five-star hotel, this ain't it. There are some little things here and there that I saw that kind of makes me wonder why they left it that way. I mean, well, let me see if I can get where you can see this. I mean, that's something they... You know, it wouldn't have been very difficult for them to fix. Is it a big deal? Maybe not. I mean, it's cosmetic. That's about it. And like this. Looks like at some point they changed the routing for where they were running the cable. But um, the only other thing I saw in here was, well, this. So they did some patchwork up there and they never repaint it. So is it a huge deal? Not really. I mean, if you're wanting a five-star hotel, like I said, this isn't it. If you're wanting something with a lot of room, a separate bedroom, two beds, these sofas actually have fold out, so you can fit quite a few people in here, a full kitchen, then for the price, I mean, this time of year, we're a little over 100 bucks a month. I mean, 100 bucks a night, not a month. That would be an amazing deal. A little over 100 bucks a night. Um, basically, we were four nights for just under $500. So, really good deal here. Port Aransas still has not completely recovered from Hurricane Harvey two years ago. So, if you guys ever want to go for a nice little trip to the Texas coast, Give Port Aransas a try. Usually there's some really good fish in here. Um, look it up online. You'll read things, you know, people catching some amazing fish out here. Um, I didn't catch any. Didn't see anybody catch any. I, I think we seem to come here the wrong time of year to catch anything big. The only thing we keep catching is a ton of whiting and, of course, a mullet with the cast net. Um, I had something bend my rod over while I had it up in the rod holder. I actually pulled the entire thing over and then I, I got the rod, didn't get the fish. That was a little upsetting because whatever it was, was big enough to pull that entire thing over into the water and I got the rod, not the fish. <sighs> I can only imagine what it was. I really wish I would have got it. Um, I did see a shark out there, I saw his fin, um, his dorsal fin pop up a couple of times. Actually the EMS guy pointed it out to me. Um, and then today when we was out there, I saw something look like it was about two and a half, three feet long in the water. I have no idea what it was. And I couldn't get my line out there quick enough before it disappeared. Still don't know what it was. So there are fish here. 
I just didn't get any. But we had fun. It's been a blast out here. We love coming here. We love the area. It's peaceful. It's quiet. At least this time of year. During the summertime or in spring break, it's probably not so peaceful and quiet. But if you want a nice place to go, give this place a try. And thank you for watching. Have a good night.